Sally Hancock here and I realized I've never done a scrapbooking process video. I love to scrapbook and right now I am working on um, scrapping a photography project that I did in 2017 of taking a picture every day. So a 365 project it's called. So I decided that was a big project and I wanted to commemorate the whole thing. So I'm, I'm working on that even though it's been a while. So I have this picture and how I did the photography project was I just chose a, I looked on Pinterest and I just chose words or prompts, photo prompts that I liked or that I could do, I think, I thought I could do and I just made my own little list. Here's my little book. I, I wrote them down so in the back I wrote down the ideas of things that I liked for each month and then I took and wrote the dates and what day of the week it was and then over here is the um, Julian date you know just the sequential numbers of the year and so that's how I kept track of them and so I am working in July I'm up to and so I decided all of my photos look pretty much the same. I just have just kind of been sticking them in there. And so I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I decided to grab a sketch that I had saved off Pinterest. I printed it, but it I couldn't get it to print big. So I'll show you on my phone. It's this one right here. I liked the flowers and the brick rack. And so that is what I am working off of. The sketch has the photo double matted. And so this printed, I printed it as a collage, a one photo collage. So it already has the white border. Um, that side looks a little bit too big. So I'm gonna trim it just a wee bit. Really quick. So I'm going to count that as one mat, the white border, and then I decided um, to mount it on this as the second one. I was going to just do the corner so I could save paper, but that looks kind of weird. So I think if I mat it right in the middle, then you can see the fun design all over. Just put that right in the middle and I am going to try out my new uh, layering guides. I like a very thin border so what it does it has a lip here and you put that lip against your top layer and it kind of stays like that and then you get your craft knife Oh, here it is. And you cut along the ruler. And it has the perfect width, all the same all the way around. So get that. You don't want to push too hard when you're using a craft knife because you might buckle your paper. So if you just kind of make a couple of passes. This is really thin paper so it doesn't take much to cut. Let's see, that is not catching. There we go. There we go. Wow, that is cool. I like that. I have not used those yet. That's really nice. Okay, so I don't need those. So what I was going to do though was I wanted it, a double matted background like this and then like that. So I'm going to cut this piece to fit this pocket which is six pockets are, are eight, eight and a half by six. 
six and a quarter. So I'm going to cut this piece out eight and a half by six and a quarter. Okay, let's just test it out to see how that fits. Oh, that's tight. Okay, I'm going to trim just a little bit off the side here. There we go. Okay, so I want to have these dots actually for the back, for the page that's behind it. Oh, that's a little bit too tall too. Trim a little bit off the top. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to... Well, can't use my layering guides for this, but I was going to just cut a white piece just a little bit smaller. So this is now... about six and an eighth. And just, just barely under eight and a half. Let's see, let's do eight and a quarter by six. Okay, let's see if I like that. Yep, 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 that is exactly what I had in mind. Okay, so what I wanted to do to the white paper, my, I have this edge distressor that I got from Cricut in the, what you call it, what was it called? The paper crafter kit. And it just has these notches with like razor blades. And I'm not sure, I haven't really played with it that much to know what's what, but it just kind of distresses the edge here. I'm going to turn the Swiss dots to the back because I want those for the page behind it. And just mount this on there. Not perfect, but not too bad. All right, so in the sketch, it has rickrack and then a row of flowers and then journaling and the title up here. So I have this cute baby rickrack. I, I think the layout is supposed to be a 12 by 12 page, but I think this works well for this little 6 by 8 one too. So, it's all coming off. Alright, so I just need a piece here. Like that. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. my Fabri-Tac to glue that down. It's really cute. I love that little rickrack. Okay, now I'm going to wipe this up and be right back. Okay, now 
the uh, oops, there go my scissors. The um, we have the circles, and this I think is for a little a little um, photo. But I cut out a cute sun with sunglasses on that I'm going to put there with my flowers. And then I'm going to put Sunny up here and then the just the Julian number, the Julian date right there. So I think maybe I'll lay it out first. The sun has these little sunbeams coming out, which I may or may not use. I can't decide. So... Here's my little sun, which I think I want right there, so it looks like it's shining on her sunglasses. And I cut these out on my cuddle bug, and they I use really thin papers, so this one got really mangled. But I thought I could maybe use just part of it, have it hanging off, and then have these coming down. There's two different patterns and I can't decide which way I like that better. So that's gonna go like that. And then I was gonna use these stickers here. These are Simple Stories Let's Party stickers. So I liked these red ones. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I will move these off and put my photo down. Move that out of the way. Oops. It's already uncovered. So, I'll glue my sun together. I'll use liquid glue for that. I can't tell if that's coming out very well or not. Let's see, this is not a perfect circle, I guess. Shoot, maybe I will trim these black parts off. I don't really want them. It's just for the mouth of the sun. So I'm just going to trim them off so you can't see them. Okay. And the sun glances. if that was supposed to go on this side. Ooh, let's see. Oh, yep. Oh, well, that's okay, because I need to glue these on anyway.
there. Oh yeah, okay, I like it with the rays better. All right, so now I just need to add my stickers and I am done. So this day was do, 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 sunny, 203. So I think I'll try sticking them on my ruler here. Make sure they're straight. bit off could lower this down just a wee bit this why as well there oh that turned out very cute so I am all done and that is a fun different um, page for me because like I say I usually am pretty plain. So this sketch is Got Sketch by Valerie Salmon on gotsketch.blogspot.com. So she has a lot of really cute sketches on her site so go check her out. So thanks for watching.